Let's bring in CBS 13 political analyst Gary Dietrich. Uh, what's your take on this shift in voting? I mean, it used to be back in the day, you're like, okay, a Latino's Democrat no matter what, right? But uh, that's, that's kind of juvenile to think that way, or yeah. it's just naive to think yeah. that way? I, I guess I, is a better it's word. Old school, yeah, that's, okay, here's the deal. Steve pointed out in this package, I think this is really important. It's part of it is generational. The folks that are now moving into voting age, you know, as Steve pointed out in the package, those folks were born in the U.S., so they're not, you know, the concerns that maybe their parents or even grandparents had about immigration and other things, they're looking at things like jobs. So especially both Latino young males and black young males, they're finding these economic concerns, particularly jobs, et cetera. They themselves expressing some feeling of threat by potential immigrant competition for their jobs. That's what they're finding among some of these younger male voters. But it's going to be very interesting because right now in both of those uh, demographics that you know, Democrats have counted on a lot. Blacks and Latinos, that does seem to be shifting. The polls are bearing that out. Yeah, before Marley asks the next question, could, your microphone fell somehow, some way. So let's some way, try somehow. and find yeah. that. There we go. Okay. We go. Well, let's just do it like this. Just hold we? it up. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, there, there we go. We go. Yeah, so the, the next question I had, though, is uh, basically about the candidates and yep. how California plays a role in this. You know, we just had Tim Waltz here yesterday, J.D. Vance in Woodside. Right. So when we're looking at this, I think I pretty much know the answer here because with Hollywood and all the stars, we've got um, Silicon Valley and wealthy there. Right. So is California just a big cash cow? Because yeah. we're not seeing rallies. We're seeing fundraising events. No, and in fact, it's interesting. Walt's kind of slipped into Sacramento. Yeah. You know, he got the cash and hit the road. And, and that is not uncommon in California, sadly. But what's interesting is that something was actually said during that fundraiser at the governor's house. It's now getting national attention. And that was Walt saying, you know what? We all know that it should be changed from the Electoral College to the popular vote in terms of deciding the presidency. Sometimes things happen in these fundraisers, mm. and we're starting to hear this more and more. Why? Because of the ubiquitous nature of things called cell phones, right? Mm. We've seen this in the last couple cycles where people will record these things, they get out to the national media, and it's a de facto news event, right? Mm. When it's supposed to be a private fundraiser. That happened just this week here in California. See it. Yeah, uh, nothing that's said in the last few weeks goes unheard. <laughs> that's right. Uh, let's talk about pivoting because obviously these candidates are going after different audiences. Donald right. Trump said he'd be coming to Coachella this weekend. Right. I mean, is the Harris camp going to say, okay, I think Coachella's a good idea too, and go after him? I mean... No, th see, this is just the op opposite of what we just talked about, right? People, what in the world is Donald <laughs> Trump coming to California for? It's a blue state. I'd say there's a couple reasons. One is the national comparison. I mean, Trump has loved to do this, right? Even when he was president and he's doing it during this campaign. Well, look at California, look at California, look at California. Then he'll tag that to the vice president, Harris, and say, you want that kind of gas price? Do you want those kind of housing prices? Do you want the dealing with fentanyl and, and, and you know homelessness and all that? Well, then you vote for her. So I think it's a comparison rally, Tony. The other thing to keep in mind, there's things going on other than the presidential race. And California and New York, believe it or not, those two big blue states are seen as the fertile hunting grounds for seats to control the U.S. House. We've got about a half a dozen here in California. Several are down there in that L.A. market. And I think that's the other reason he's coming, is to try to help get control of the House, because if he becomes president, he's certainly going to want that. Yeah, oh, he gets yeah. stuff done. He's visited a few blue states. All right, Gary, thanks for the insight.